guys. We're going to be going over the Tigers curriculum testing. This first technique or this first series of techniques, this is going to be going from our white belt to the white and yellow belt. The first thing we're going to be looking at is defending the haymaker from standing. So I want to go over the too far too close concept. So we're two arms away. I'm too far for him to punch me or kick me from this distance. I keep this distance, I'm good. I want to be looking at closing that distance to where we're in positions we can't get punched either. I'm going to take him down and go right into that wet blanket mount. So one more time, check distance, hands up, change level, and drive straight through. Right to the wet blanket mount, and hands wide, chest is low. Alright guys, the second technique is going to be escaping the mount, which is one of the worst positions in jiu-jitsu, definitely one of the worst positions in a real fight. Um, so we're going to be looking at keeping ourselves safe, doing the shark bite, the shark bite with punches, and then the snake bite escape. Right, so first, we're going to be looking at that shark bite. That is when our partner is in the mount, with the hands on the floor, maybe that wet blanket mount. Okay. I'm going to reach up, I'm going to pull his elbow down, and loop over and control that arm. I don't want to just reach. If I do this, he's going to close my hands here and then I'm never going to get out. I'm going to pull down and then loop here. Okay, once I get his arm controlled, I'm going to block this foot, angle the knees, and then I'm going to bridge and throw this arm at the same time. I'm going to that top position here, now I'm working on passing. Right, the next technique is the shark bite with punches. Okay? So if we're in a real fight, this doesn't get any worse in this position. He controls range here. So if we're going to start in that low blank, uh, wet blanket mount. As he sits up, I'm going to lift and bear hug. I need to keep my head close. I'm going to start climbing up, controlling that shoulder. Keep climbing up, sliding um, with the head against the body. I'm going to pull his arm down, loop, block that foot, and then I'm going to bridge as high as I can that top position here. The last one is snake bite. And this is really common when you're training. I want to control the wrist and just above the elbow here. I want my elbow to block his knee from sliding up. I block that ankle and then I'm going to bridge. One thing when you're practicing live, sleeve control can be really helpful. Block that arm, big bridge, and get on the top. And that's the series for the mountain escape for the white belt to widen the elbow. Alright guys, so the third technique for going from white belt to white and yellow belt is going to be headlock escapes from the feet. Anybody that's you know, reached junior high has been in a headlock before unwillingly, so you have to learn some skills to get out of that headlock. We're going to start very simply, we'll get a little complicated, but all of them are important to know. So Professor's going to grab me in a headlock here. Okay, the first one I'm going to do is control that hip, I'm going to turn my face into his body to the point where it's almost, it's almost uncomfortable for me. I'm going to get low, hug that far knee, and then I'm going to drive, continue to the mount here. This is for your basic level schoolyard headlock. This next one, guys, we're going to be looking at when we're equal sized partners. I'm going to control that hip here. I'm going to squat and scoop that leg here, big lift. And once I lift this leg up, I'm going to turn and pivot him on that leg and look toward his face here. And then the last one is the rear sweep. And most of the interesting stuff is going to be happening on the back side of the Professor. So he's going to grab here. I turn my chin in. I hook the hip the same way. I'm going to step and scoop just like the previous technique. And my left leg is going to extend and hit the back of this leg here. Keep that top position there. It's really important to be able to reverse those headlocks. Like I said, if you haven't been in a headlock yet, it's going to happen someday and we want to have the skills to get out. Right guys, the final technique for the white belt to white and yellow belt is going to be the guard monster position and the rear sweep from the guard monster position when somebody's trying to, to get up and punch. Alright, so we're going to look at our closed guard. So right here, if, if we're throwing strikes, I'm losing. He's going to be punching way more effectively. He's got, it's not only his body weight, but it's also gravity. So as he starts moving back, I'm going to crunch in, control his head, 
Shoulder, like I'm going to control the head, and then over this arm with my left arm and pinch here, elbows in. I can stay pretty safe here for a long time. He can punch with that left arm, not super effective. I can frame with my elbow. If I start, if he starts to get my ribs a little bit too much, I can switch sides here. Okay, but I feel pretty safe in this position. All right, we're going to look at when he gets kind of fed up with this position and starts to get up. Most of the time, holding his head, he's going to get up hips first, boom, and then he's going to start to bring his head up. I'm going to let go, boom, knees in, keep him back. I'm going to go all the way to that out position. And then from here, I have the punching again. 